Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. This video I would like to paint some little dudes from Sky Tier. So that's that MOBO game that I've just picked up. And these are some of the minions from it. The Earthish ones. And I did actually want to paint, what's this guy's name? Gold John? Gold John? I want to paint the bear guy, but you know, like, like I normally do on the channel. I like to start with something really, really easy, just in case you've picked up the game and you've never painted before, show you something that anybody could do in a couple of minutes, no bother whatsoever. So for these guys, I'm gonna go and go out in, outside. You wanna do this outside and use some aerosol spray cans, rattle cans, and I'm gonna be using the Army Painters Color Primer cans. I'm actually gonna use two of them, and that is, look how close the camera is, Color Primer Uniform Gray, Color Primer Skeleton Bone. So Skeleton Bone and Uniform Gray, a mid-range gray and an off-white bony color. Now my plan is, and I've not done this before, so I'm not entirely sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but maybe I'll do one in gray, one in Skeleton Bone, and then I'm gonna do these two, and I'll, tr I'll probably do one, one, one gray with a light splash of the Skeleton Bone on top, and I'll do one Skeleton Bone with a light splash of uniform gray on top. So I'll have four slightly different ones, almost like Xenophil highlighting on these two. And that's just gonna give us a different look. We'll be able to see which one you prefer. It's all subjective, so you can have different tastes. Everyone's, everyone's got a different opinion on things like this. So you'll be able to judge and pick for yourself, but either way, it should be fairly quick. So I'll be back with these all primed up. And I'm back from priming. Just straight off the bat, I think this straight uniform gray is probably my favorite straight away. It just looks like gray rock. Next up, is this, which one was this? This was the gray, uniform gray with the skeleton bone on top. And I think that's gonna look quite nice, earthy rocks. Then just the skeleton bone by itself It's okay. We'll see how that works once I start adding some grays. And then the last one was the skeleton bone with the, the uniform gray on top. And that just didn't go out, come out very well, but we'll, we'll see how it comes along. I'm gonna start highlighting up some of these and I'm gonna use a very simple technique, just some dry brushing. I'll explain it as I go along, just in case you are brand new to paint. And I'm gonna start using Dungeon Gray. This is a lighter gray than the Uniform Gray. I'm just gonna grab a dry palette. And I think I'm gonna highlight them up all the same to begin with and just see where we are from that point. So we'll get some paint on the palette. Do not water this down at all because we want it as dry as possible. To some extent, even leave it out for a few minutes, get it nice and dry, get some of the, some of the liquid will evaporate and it'll just start getting drier and drier so that's fine we're going to work a little bit into the bristles i'm going to wipe most of it off but still working it into the bristles to make sure i've got some paint on this to dry brush and then once hardly any paint comes off from light stroking we're going to start applying that now the gray on the gray might not stand out that much but we'll see no it's fine it's fine it's definitely lighter so i'm just going to drag this across the miniature very very lightly and that's going to apply this lighter gray on top onto all of the raised parts of this rock rock creature, this little elemental rock. And it's just making it a little bit lighter. And that's exactly what I want. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see, I think, on the camera. It's a little bit difficult to see in person. This is such a, a subtle change, but we'll go, we'll keep going up higher and higher. I'll finish that off camera because you get the gist. I'm just going to go around the whole thing and do do this dry brush. So once again, we'll try the next one. Now this is gonna make a big difference because this guy's a lot more skeleton bony. So we're gonna start seeing him going a lot more gray suddenly and like so. Making him look a lot more earthy and rocky simultaneously. Then the next one, this is just skeleton bone. So this is the only gray that's on this one and we'll see the transformation right in front of our eyes. But again, I'll just go around and dry brush on some greys. We'll be toning this all down with some washers and blending it all together with some washers shortly, but we're just going for a really, really quick paint job. Just, it's really, really simple. So if you're brand new to painting, this is gonna be a piece of cake. You're only gonna need a handful of things as well to achieve these results. T dip your toe in the water, that sort of thing. And if you're not new to painting, it's just gonna get four miniatures at this game really, really quickly and easily done so you can move on to the more important champions. And last but not least, the worst looking one, but we'll, we'll still do him. We'll give him a chance. He might not come out very good by the end, but, you know, that's that's my role to make the mistake so you guys can avoid doing certain things, and this might be one we avoid. We'll see, we'll see. You know, ugly duckling and all, he might turn into a beautiful swan as we go through. Now, I will go away and do a little bit more of this dry brushing on all of them and get a nice even highlighting on them, so I'll be back in a moment. 
Sorry about that, guys. My microphone had slipped down the back. Hopefully, the audio will be a bit better going forwards now. So all of these are look well. These three are looking fairly similar. A bit meh. Not not impressed yet. We'll get there. This one's still looking fine. What it is is the highlights just aren't strong enough. So for this one in particular, I'm going to go and grab filthy suit, a much lighter grey, and we're just going to dry brush some of that on this guy as well, and just make him stand out that little bit more. It's exactly the same technique as before. Rub off most of that paint. And then let's brighten up this rock. I just realized while I was highlighting them up because the highlight starts making some details pop out. This guy's like a bit of a skeleton in a, in a rock body. I don't know. I've not played the game yet. I don't really know what's going on. Oh, this is definitely standing out a lot more. And that's more like how I want it. So I'm just going to highlight all the rock places. I think I'm going to have to paint these skeletons in with the skeleton bones. So it's kind of good that I've used both of the, um, both the primers because... Some of it's going to help in places, and so I've got fruit. the rocks are looking better with the grey, but the skeleton's going to look better with the skeleton bone primer. So that's him all highlighted up. That's popping out much better. We can definitely work with that. You, you could even add in some white. I might even go and add a little bit of white. Maybe we'll highlight afterwards. So let's let's get them all toned down with some wash next. So in terms of the wash we're going to use, I'm going to try using dark tone army painters dark tone, the black wash, and I'm going to use that on the pure grey one and these two are kind of looking the same although more yellow more grey so for these two I think I'll use the black dark tone black wash and for these two I will use deep shader which is a dark brown wash we'll use a big brush that can slurp up a load of this wash so this is the black wash dark tone and I'm just going to apply this all over well just all over this miniature actually let's just do it everywhere so making it making it extra quick although I'll have to tidy up some bits. I won't bother around his helmet because we know that is going to be gold by the end and we'll get his ribs there even though I'm going to have to paint that in with some skeleton bone in a little bit. That won't be a bother. I'm, I'll am i miss doing the doing his uh, upper arms and his forearms here because they are just going to be skeleton bone but I'll get either side of the elbow rocks being super generous with this wash just doing it really quick to be honest i think speed is of the essence here the miniature's so small i don't think being accurate is going to matter too much you can barely see any of the detail and this is just going to make it all pop out as best as it can anyway so we'll just pop that one down to dry and we're going to do exactly the same with this one just checking which one i picked up then so this is the it looks more gray to me this one and I think the black wash is going to complement it a lot more. I am going to be getting his forearms and his shoulders and stuff on this one because I think the black will give it the nice shading and I can highlight up from there. Just adding in some of the bone colour that I'm going to want for the final piece. A bit too much there. Try not to let it pull too badly. That's basically it. Now, this is looking super contrasty so I'm not quite sure how I feel by the end again we're experimenting we're seeing how we're going to get on let's get some brown wash on the others and see how it compares so this is deep shader this is a very brown very dirty looking shade but it's going to be a lot softer than that black dark tone and that's going to be possibly beneficial we're going to, that's what we're finding out and it might it will even work this one will work on the skeleton bone color better so it's actually the shade i would want or pretty much the shade i would want on his arms and such and then we'll just do one of the gray and bone ones in the same deep shader nice brown wash i'm actually preferring this so far we'll see how it dries and comes across as we move along i think it's more earth earthy tone so it's working well I'm trying to get these rocks to look a bit sandy a bit rocky a bit sandstone here just earthy rocks i'm going for as opposed to just gray slateish rocks that kind of look we'll see how we get along by the end though very very interested to find out and then let me know in the comments below which you prefer by the end as well It'd be interesting and obviously at that point if that's the one you like just do them all the same or, or mix it up you can always have variation i tend to like my um non-unique sculpts to all look the same anyway so i i would probably paint all mine the same if i wasn't testing this out for you guys 
Just one little additional touch I want to make. I'm going to use some green tone. This is Plague Shader, but basically a green wash by the Army Painter. I'm just going to splash a little bit on here. And this is all still wet, so I'm just going to try and blend it in a little bit. But I'm going to, I just wanted to add a little bit of green tone to this rock here. Hopefully I can blend this in. It's ultra bright this year. It's blending though. Just stirring it round. And that's just to make it look a little bit mossy, a bit, a bit slightly different to the actual rock creature. Just a little bit of green to it. Just got to mix that in enough with the brown. Let's add a bit more brown back because it's gone a bit greener than I wanted. There we go. See how it's just slightly different? We'll see how it dries. That's going to be, be interesting. I think I'll do the same to mm, this grey one as well. So I've got one with a black wash and one with the brown. Just, just to see. It looks a bit like fairy liquid washing up liquid at the moment. But we'll let this work its magic and dry and that'll just look I just felt like this rock wants to stand out a little bit differently to the rest in fact I'm already liking that I'm going to do it to all of them just add in a splash of this green wash not too much though because it's so bright I think I think the actual green tone is less vibrant than this one the wash is all dry now and <laughs> interestingly enough I think the worst has now become my favorite. The green's a bit too green. I should have mixed those washes together to make a greeny black wash. Probably probably something like 80% green with a splash of brown in it, but they're all coming up nice. The, I, I don't know which is I prefer. And now, now that these have switched order, I think this was my favorite and this was my least favorite. Now that the other way around, it's all subjective and it's exciting playing around. So what I'm gonna do next is go back and hi highlight them up again because they're really, really dark now. So I'm just once again going to dry brush on this dungeon grey to remove most of this grey once again. Maybe leave a little bit more on the last time. And then it's exactly the same process as before we washed it. And I'm just going to lightly scrape this along all of the rocky areas. Just to add this little bit of highlighting back in, just giving the edges a bit of a shine, brightening them up as though the light is catching them. And I'm going to repeat this process for all of them. I won't bother talking or showing you through it because we get the gist right. And I think we just bring this one up on camera to get get it how it looks. And we could just compare which we prefer at the end and how we got there. Should mention that highlighting up this rock's going to tone down that green a little bit and probably make it look a lot more realistic. Also going to add another second highlight of this filthy suit, just like before we added the wash. And it's just going to pop those highlights back out. To some degree, we could have skipped that step before the before the wash, because we're doing it afterwards anyway. So to some extent, would it have made any difference doing it before? Try skipping it. Try saving yourself some time. Let me know in the comments below. Sometimes highlighting and then washing and then highlighting again does get an overall better effect, but it might be negligible here. Much brighter looking rocks now. So I've highlighted all the rocks now. Got them looking rocky. Different variations of them, very grey to very earthy looking ones. They're all different. We'll have a close look at the end, but I'm pretty happy with them. I'm ha ha definitely one of them is going to be spot on. So for the next bit, we can put them all to the side. I'm going to repeat the same process for them all. I'm going to batch paint these as I go along. But we want to paint in the skeleton part of this Golem? What, what is this? Somebody let me know in the comments below. For that I'm going to be using this zombie skin which is actually the same as that skeleton bone primer that I use. So it's the same colour just from the zombie side set. Um, skeleton bone, some sort of yellowy bone colour is going to do nicely here and we'll uh, apply that to the bones. For this one we're going to want to thin this paint down. It might take a couple of coats. I've got a really wet brush here, just a cheap one for mixing in some water with this. That should do or looks good. So once all the wash was dry, I started carrying on with the tutorial. I had a bit of a panic that I wasn't actually going to be able to make any of these look good. So instead of batch painting them all in one go, I, I rushed ahead and painted up one of them. And this is how it came out. Now at the start, I said it was a nice easy tutorial, nice get to grips with. And it actually is. The rocks are incredibly easy to paint. It's just there's a lot of very, very small detail. These are incredibly small miniatures. If we take something that is sort of normal size you can see how tiny they are so i thought i'd go ahead and just make sure i can get a decent look on this and i'm happy enough with this this is more than tabletop quality it's good good to go so i will continue and if you dislike how this looks 
by all means drop out now but hopefully hopefully you think it's good enough slash good like it's small right so it's probably as well as i'd ever paint anything um and i've got these three to continue with so i'll probably just play on with a plain gray one in the video so not because i'm going to batch paint them so we don't have to worry about those anymore and we'll just concentrate on showing you this one but i'm going to be applying the exact same things i do to this to those guys over there so here we're going to use zombie flesh by the army painter it's the same as skeleton bone which was that light yellowy brown primer that I used in some of them not this gray one here and that's just going to paint on this sort of bony skeleton structure that these guys have got and um, also you'll see i've tagged in the army painters wet palette here and that's for a couple of reasons one i want this paint to be really thin um quite watery it's going to take two or three coats to build up but it's going to give a nice even smooth finish very easily i'm not going to have to micromanage how much i water down the paints and then the second reason is as you can see i've been batch painting i've done all of these and i don't have to keep watering down the paint or getting more paint out con consistently i've just put one big blob in here and you can see i've hardly used any and that's that's not not even slightly dry yet so it's going to get me all the way to the end so i'm going to go around find all the skeleton bits so he's got his arm down this side i'm going to reach in and get his legs down here a couple of bits and then round the back as well he's got his little legs here i'm just going to paint those two bits in i'm going to get his ribs down here i'm also going to get his face his face is very very difficult to do i'm just sort of going to get it all and maybe have to fix it up with some wash so just to zoom ahead to this that step sort of being complete you can see this guy's roughly where i want him um he's only had one coat you can see it's uneven i'm going to put a second coat on him and this guy's had two coats, so he's looking a little bit more even, but again, a little bit more work to do. So it's just building up those coats until you get something more like towards what you'd be happy with at the end, this kind of coverage. And again, we can use wash to blend that or fix it up. So I'm going to go paint on all the skeleton. So once you've done a couple of coats on the skeleton bone, then we're going to highlight that up. So just a bit of sort of edge highlighting using crushed bone by the army painter. And I'm just going to catch all of the edges of the bone really with it so get his fingers as well in here well that's gone on a bit thick my bad again I'm using the wet palette to water this down but it can't control how much i put on the brush unfortunately and that was a bit too much behind i'm going to blame the camera being in my way just lightly adding these fingers in with the brighter highlight and get his fibia that sounds about right on this side as well let's get a bit on his on his bicep here blending that in a little bit and then we'll do some of his face as well so i'm going to aim for sort of eyebrow area and these cheekbones as well, just brighten them up as well. Get his lips. And then I'm going to work on the other side as well. So once you've got the bone looking about how you would like, I'm going to use some a zombie shader, which is like a light brown. It's a bit grey, sort of this colour down here. I'm just going to use this to reshade those bones, and that's going to blend it more smoothly, especially towards the darker recesses towards the rock. It's just going to tone it in it in a in a more reasonable way I think I've done quite bright highlights on purpose knowing I was going to tone this down now I may highlight it up a bit afterwards but I don't think so I'm just being careful I'm not just splashing this wash on I'm being a bit more subtle I might even do two layers very thin just carefully it's making those fingers pop back out down here which is good and important just turn that down a bit in there so I'm just going to go around and do all of this i think the most careful bit will be his face yeah just around the edge his mouth bring back that that detail back in his mouth when while this is drying this is perfect for batch painting it will take a while to dry so i'll do all of the other ones which haven't had this done yet so while that wash is drying we'll um, very carefully hold it and paint on some bright gold for his sort of headdress now i won't use my wet palette for this because i don't like to water down my metallics it's just a simple matter of 
because it's still wet, by all means, guys, wait for this to dry so you don't get wash on your hands. But I'm just going to paint gold all over his headdress. Now I'm going to do two thin coats because it's grey in the background still. It's still that primer on this particular one at least. And it's just going to take a little bit of a handful of coats, ho hopefully only two, to paint over this grey. Now I could have used a, a yellowy brown. I would say yellow, but yellow is as bad as gold. Some sort of very light yellowy brown, and that would that would go on and cover this grey very easily, and then make the gold much much easier to apply to the top afterwards. And there's a bit of headdress here as well to get. So it's it's this frilly bit, and then it comes onto his head just a smidge. So I'll cover all of this in gold, and that's the gold nice and dry. And isn't it weird that? The uh, model suddenly looks a little bit more interesting than before. It's almost like rocks are boring and then when you add some gold to them they're exciting. must apologise to any geologists watching the channel. I didn't mean to insult your rocks. Now here I'm going to add some depth to this gold bit and I'm going to be using Army Painter's Flesh Wash. That is a red, red-ish wash. It's normally used on flesh, it's all in the name. But I think it highlights, well it doesn't highlight does it? I think it shades gold really well it gives a really glowy look to the gold i don't know how else to explain it somebody let me know in the comments below what sort of gold it almost makes it look like rose gold sort of thing it looks really nice once that's dry so that that's as simple as that i'm going to do it to the rest carry on this batch painting i've nearly done all four so while i'm carefully avoiding touching this wash because it's still drying i'm going to paint on some of the blue detailing i've downsized my brush got a triple zero out now brand new Kalinsky so it's super fine tip and then I've got some of Army Painters Void Shield Blue again the um, wet palettes out once more because I want this quite runny quite watered down I've even added a drip of water on the top and what we're going to try and do this might be a bit impossible with the camera in my way but I'll give it a go get very little paint on the brush and I'm just going to try and dot in his eyes well, I say dot I'm going to try and let this run into his tiny little eye recesses this might might be a bit too difficult with the camera in the way as you saw it, well i've got image stabilization so you might not see but if the image is rocking now it's because i just head the camera that's not quite as accurate as i did the other one but come on give me some credit there's a camera in my view pro tip here guys if you are short-sighted and i keep saying this apologies if keep reiterating it but take your glasses off it's going to give you a much better view of this tiny detail yeah that's not as good as i did the tester i don't think no, it's not bad it's okay i might fill that in a bit more when i've got it closer to my face what i'm also going to do is paint this little rune that he's got again with my super detail brush just get along the top and along the edges and just adding in the detail now and it's really making this miniature look a lot more exciting so it's been it's actually been about five days now and wash is all dry surprisingly the wash dried in five days so i've just got a little bit more work to do on this little fella just wanted to show you i don't think i need the wet palette much anymore but i want to show you it's been yeah like five days and the paint's still wet so that's that's one of the perks of using a wet palette it's uh keeps your paint fresh especially over a small period of time it looks a bit drier but i can i can top it with a little bit of water but as i said it, it's been five days like that's not bad normally in five minutes it's kind of dry there's, as i said there's there's not much left to do with this little fella i'm just looking for a dry palette to put some paint on always prepared and then i'm just going to take some bright gold let's get a splash of this on the palette again i don't really water down the gold or any metallics for that matter then I'm going to just simply highlight back up the edges of his little gold headpiece. So I get this top, probably get the top band, get that nice and bright so the light's coming down from the top. Like so. I'll probably get the crest here of his helmet as well, just along the front. And then I'm going to catch a couple, well, at least the middle ones, the detail here. And just fade it down a little bit, blend it in a little bit. Just catch all of these little sun flares. I don't know what you'd call them. Just giving it a bit of pizzazz back. And then 
semi-similar on the back, but I'll probably just catch the very top. The sun's in front of this guy. That's why it's not shiny on the back. And that's it. That's as simple as the highlight I'm going to do for his helmet. Now, you could mix in some silver if you want an additional highlight. Probably just a splash of silver, maybe 50-50, and just catch the very edges of that top piece, and it would make it stand out that little bit further. I'm going to go paint the other headdresses in this gold batch painting. Nearly done them all. That's the miniature completely finished. I just need to paint up the base, and that's really going to bring this together. For that, I'm going to use Dead Black, which is just Army Painter's matte black from the Zombie Side set. Now, again, put it on the wet palette. I don't mind this being thinned down and keeping it fresh while I batch paint all four of these. I think... I would love to do something nice with this base, something fancy, but it's just so small. I don't know how on earth I could, you know, paint in anything really. Can't really get any detail onto the base, nor, nor could I really get any... I'd love to put on some of Army Painter's flock, some grass tufts, something like that. But really, that's, that's it. You just have it in the same place on all of them, just behind the back feet. So for this, I'm going to paint all of the top of the base, just in this black of all of them. And then we're going to do a nice green rim so we can see which is which on the board. Once all that black's dry I'm just going to add this green rim. I'm going to be using Moly Clothes up by Army Painter. It's just a light green. That's it. Simple as. And the reason for this is just to make it a little bit more distinguishable on the sort of on the board. Um, this is a super thin watery paint. Now I might have needed to shake it up for about eight hours longer but I don't mind doing this in two or three thin coats. It's just coming out nice and thin. Um, it's as simple as just going round and round the base, multiple coats, and just being careful where it meets the black that we painted on previously. So I'll whiz round all of this, and I'll do the same on all the others, and by the time I've got to the last one, the first one will be dry, and I'll add another coat, and then I'll go round and round, repeat till fade, and that is the final simple last step. And with that, that is completely finished. That's the four little little rock fellas. I don't even know their name. Hmm. Should probably play this game, but I'm very happy. I'm very happy with all four of them, actually. To say they're all primed and they've started in the base completely differently. I actually like how each of them have come out. And obviously, it's all subject and we've all got different feelings and opinions. So you guys, by all means, pick which one you like, follow along with that. I I'm happy with the pure gray. I'm happy with the pure brown and I'm happy with the they're all just good and I, I actually like that they look slightly different as well maybe one can become my favorite get his own little unique name that sort of thing but this these these miniatures were not as easy as i thought to paint originally but they also weren't particularly difficult it's just purely that they're incredibly small so take care with some of the details but it's going to come out nice and it's going to start making sky tier look amazing thank you all ever so much for watching i'll see you again next week